Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now. Well, Novak Djokovic stands alone as the Grand Master of Tennis and he's moved closer toward becoming tennis's first $100 million man. Nole captured his record 28th Masters Championship, sweeping Kei Nishikori in the Miami Open Final. In his 40th career Masters Final, the Joker tied Andre Agassi's all-time record, collecting his sixth Miami Open. You know, it's very pleasing and flattering to know that I, am, I managed to, to achieve uh, you know, history and uh, to be alongside Andre Agassi and, and to win the most now Masters event. I mean, it's, it's a, I'm very proud of it. I, I must be. Must be on it. The Joker's lockdown defense and ability to strike from any position on the court make him almost impossible to beat. Okay, so here's a look at some staggering stats from Nole's run. He got the Indian Wells Miami Sunshine sweep for a record extending fourth time. It was Novak's 714th career win, which pushed him past coach Boris Becker for 11th on the all time list. It was his record 11th consecutive Masters Final, and he is 56-2 in that span. And now Nole has surpassed Roger Federer as the ATP's all-time prize money leader with $98 million, and he will likely become the sport's first $100 million man very shortly. Coach Becker didn't make the trip to Miami, but he will be back with Nole in Monte Carlo. He tweeted an emoji summary of Novak's spectacular season. Okay, so what makes Nole so tough to beat? Gail Monfils says it's because Novak has all the shots. And the odds makers agree. Just check out the odds for Roland Garros. The bookmakers have Nole as the overwhelming favorite to win his very first French Open and complete the career Grand Slam. Nine-time champion Rafa Nadal is listed second, followed by reigning champ Stan Marinka, Andy Murray, and then Kei Nishikori. John Isner, it is reported, has parted company with coach Justin Gimbelstab. The pair announced the split in a joint announcement posted on Justin's website. The Tennis Channel analyst says personal issues and a desire to spend more time with his young son contributed to that decision. Meantime, John Isner is the top seed in Houston for this week's U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships. But the talk of the tournament? Well, meet the new Millie Vanilli, Jack Sock and Dustin Brown. Jack took the traditional champion's plunge at River Oaks last year, and he got back into the water this time. The Tennis Now team is going to be on site in Houston, so stay tuned for more from River Oaks later on this week. Over on the women's side, a sponsored change at the tournament in Charleston. It is no longer the family circle. Volvo is the new sponsor, and they're celebrating with a cyber gift for fans. Free streaming of the outer court action from this week's Volvo Car Open. That's pretty cool. And so was the player party. Sabine Lisicki looked very glamorous. Here's Sloane Stevens, Australian Open champion Angelique Kerber, and Venus Williams, they were all smiles walking the red carpet at the event. Andrea Petkovic, always a fan favorite, is a former Charleston champ whose tennis is rooted in South Carolina. Her dad, Zoran, was a top college player for South Carolina. And reigning champion Angie and 2014 winner Andrea launched the tournament with some tennis on the beach. Charleston is one of the most scenic stops on the WTA Tour, and the draw provides an interesting reunion for us. Jeannie Bouchard versus Alexandra Duguera. The two generated some controversy and criticism in their Fed Cup encounter last year. When Duguera extended her hand for the customary pre-match handshake, Jeannie Bouchard waved it off. Well, Alexandra handed out some retribution in the form of a straight set win spoiling Jeannie's Montreal homecoming, and she celebrated with a bit of a hand fake of her own. We love seeing the stars collide on court, but what would it look like to see tennis champions rumble in the ring? Well, John Isner has a few ideas about that, and he shares them in an article that he wrote for the Players' Tribune called If Tennis Stars Were WWE Superstars. Growing up in Greensboro, North Carolina, Long John was always an obsessive wrestling fan and says his younger years revolved around the WWE. So in honor of WrestleMania, John merges his two favorite worlds. Here is an ATP WWE mashup. Let's do this. 
Grand Slam King Roger Federer as Shawn Michaels. Those are his favorites from both worlds. And by the way, Roger is also a huge wrestling fan. John says that Roger loves the WWE. He goes online, he goes on the WWE Network, and he watches it all. John sees tennis great Jimmy Connors as Triple H. He says Triple H is an all-timer and Connors is too. They were both heroes at times and villains sometimes. And what about Andy Murray? He's a dog lover. And in the wrestling world, Isner says he'd be a bulldog. John says Andy is the British Bulldog and even adds the wrestling hair extensions on Andy here. And John imagines Rob Nadal as the ultimate warrior, Nick Kyrgios as Stone Cold Steve Austin because of a total disregard for authority and insane talent. And John himself as the Undertaker. He says both are slow and methodical. So there's a look inside the brain of John Isner. That's our news for now, everybody. I'm Grace Carter. We'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.